I'm Kimberly Wallace and welcome to Insiders Health TV where we bring you the freshest happenings in the world of medicine with none of the quack propaganda. Today we'll be talking about the Air Force Sergeant who's accused of purposefully exposing his partners to HIV at swingers parties. And we'll hear special cheers and jeers from our correspondent in California. Sergeant David Gutierrez is accused of eight counts of aggravated assault and of violating his commander's order to notify partners about his HIV status. The military man was diagnosed with the disease, and while it would be grossly irresponsible and downright evil not to notify those that you plan on having sex with, he was also given a written order from Major Christopher Haig requiring him to use condoms and notify his sexual partners before doing the deed. Not only did Gutierrez not follow through on those orders, he and his wife actually set up group sex parties and partner swaps with neither of them letting on about his disease and even allegedly claiming outright that he was clean. This makes it no longer even an omission, but an actual flat out denial of his extremely dangerous condition. While those who participated are outraged, not one of them contracted the disease. Still, they say it's the equivalent of Russian roulette, and they just never got to the bullet, which is terrifying enough. For what Gutierrez, he faces up to 53 years in jail, as well as a dishonorable discharge and reduction in rank. No matter what the punishment, hopefully this will make others think long and hard about who they plan on trusting with their sexual health. For more on this situation, as well as the good news and health this week, let's toss it out to Matt in California, where he gives us his Cheers and Jeers of the Week. Matt? Hi, and welcome to Cheers and Jeers, where I bitch, whine, and praise about what's hot in health. First, jeers to our boy Didier Hombart, who sued a pharmaceutical company for making him addicted to gay sex. Now, I, I understand that some medicines have weird side effects, sure. For instance, I still can't dream in color, but to imply that the medicine you're on is making you constantly want homoerotic love, well, that seems just a bit too convenient for me. Really, Didier, you never once had any dream or fantasy before taking Requip, yeah? You never once went camping with your buddy Jonathan, you were canoeing, shirtless, your hands touched very quickly, and you thought for a moment, just a fleeting moment then maybe something wonderful could happen please now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with homosexuality no quite the opposite however I do think there's something wrong with blaming it on a medicine and then trying to profit from it so Didier why don't you take two spoonfuls of shut up and call me in the morning but not to solicit gay sex from me because I've never taken any requip so and now, cheers go to every red-blooded American man and woman who really celebrated correctly for the Super Bowl. Now, I work for a health show, and I believe strongly in moderation. I do. But for this one glorious Sunday every year, I cover everything in cheese. I deep-fry any vegetable I can find. And I guzzle down ranch dressing, chasing it with the darkest, strongest lager I can find. So here's to the rest of you football fans who really know how to do it right on Super Bowl Sunday. And take this one day, one day, for a little bit of overindulgence. So I'll see all of you in the cardiac wing in a couple of years. But I'll bring the beers. I'll bring the beers. That's it for Cheers and Jeers. Check back in next week when I praise a new hero and tackle a new idiot. Kim? And that's it for this edition of Insiders Health TV. I'm your host, Kimberly Walson, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the box.